when talking about birth control, what is the most effective option? Did you get the triage Tuesday question right? Dr. Alex Sherling here, I'm a board certified OBGYN and I'm here to answer the question, give you a little bit of wisdom here on Wednesday. Yesterday, our triage Tuesday question was a 27 year old G3P3 woman, so she's had three babies before, presents and wants the most effective contraceptive option. What did you tell her? So when we do medical tests in training, in medical school, on board exams, you always want more information than what they give you. And there's only one correct answer. So in this situation, we have to use our reasoning skills and pick out the single best option. And in this case, I would choose next one on. All of the options that were listed here are actually over 99% effective. And any one of these could be a great choice for this patient. However, if we're talking about the very most effective option when we're looking at the PEARL index, which is how we rate contraceptive options based on how many people get pregnant in a year, the most effective option in all of these studies is actually listed as Nexplanon or the arm implant. Because all the studies that have been done this far and are reported note that this is actually the most effective with an effectiveness of 0.05 on the PEARL index, meaning it's 99.95% effective. When these studies were performed, we looked at tubal ligations, but there was a lot of different ways that people were tying tubes at that point. There was the Pomeroy method, the silicone band, the Filshi clips. Sometimes we even just used bipolar on the fallopian tubes to burn these areas. And all of these have different failure rates. Now there's been a swing in how we actually tie tubes. And most of us are actually doing bilateral salpingectomies, which is where we remove the entire tube on both sides. By removing the entire tube, this actually increases the effectiveness of the sterilization procedure. And there's theories that this will actually decrease your fallopian tube and ovarian cancer risk because we think that a lot of ovarian cancer may actually come from the fallopian tube. So again, a little bit of a trick question because yes, bilateral salpingectomies are likely better because there's only a few cases that have ever been noted to happen after a complete bilateral salpingectomy. However, this number isn't reflected yet in the data. When we look at sterilization as a whole, it's actually a little bit less effective than next one. Thanks for tuning in for Wisdom Wednesday. I hope you learned something today.